from Timeless Joe by Deborah. How are you doing today? So glad that you could spend a little bit of time with me. So we are opening a 525-23 thread-up box. This one is from Phoenix. Um, you know, I've stated before, I don't get Phoenix boxes that often. My boxes usually, usually come from um, Mechanic Bird. So... Every once in a while, it's nice to get this. I used to get uh, some of the five pound boxes from like Swanee, but um, yeah, I'd have to check my stash. As you guys know, I have a stash of a bunch of these boxes, so I save them for a rainy day. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, I ordered this May 18th of 2023. Oh. They didn't even really wrap it, but hey, it's in a bag. Oh, two bags. Oh, no. Okay, it's just in one big bag. All right, so I'm going to get this box out of here. It's going to knock you guys around. All right, I'm going to get this paper out of here. So, I hope you all are doing well. I'm going to move you guys down. And we are going to open this up. And let's see what you got there. Oh, my goodness. It's like a humongous bag. Okay. So we will count the pieces. We're supposed to get 15 pieces. So let's move this on. So we've got one that kind of looks like sterling. Two, three, four, ooh, uh, five, <laughs> six, seven. Eight, nine, oh, ten, okay, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So what I will do is I will take these all out of the box. We'll go through each piece, and if there's any flaws, I always show this to you. So the next slide after this, you guys will see a green slide, and it will tell you uh, the ordering directions and if you ever have a question you can email me at timeusjewelbydebra at gmail.com plus all the information is right down there so we are going to pull these out of the bags and uh we'll get started i'll see you guys in one second wow you guys look at that ring and these earrings what a fantastic thing let's get started all right, so let's get started. So our first piece that we're going to show is J. Crew. It does have its little hang tag here. It's in a like beige with blue, and these are more of a gray rhinestone. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. I believe it's 18 inches. Let me go ahead and get that measurement for you. So thanks again for hanging out with me today, you guys. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to leave a comment and let me know what your favorite item is. Also, let me know, have you ever had a thread up box? So it is 18 inches, and that's fully extended. So that's number one. Number two, this is fantastic. This is Kate Spade. Now, I could not find the name on this. They all have names. Um, if I would have researched a little longer, I may have been able to find it. So what we have is we have rectangle with rhinestones, and this looks like a bluish black. Um, it looks like a sunstone. It's man-made. And then here, this one does not have rhinestones, and then it has rhinestones, and then it doesn't. All of the stones are there. So it's a super pretty necklace. It's 31 inches total length. So for this um, Kate Spade, we can do 40 on this one. Oh, and did I say the J. Crew? we would do 8. So 8 on the J. Crew and 40 on the 31 inch Kate Spade. Okay, this is one of my favorite pieces. Look at this, you guys. Is that not adorable? It is a mabe pearl, and then you have a hug, and I thought maybe it was sterling. It is not. I did test it. It's a pretty chain like that, but is that not adorable? So it's, it's just beautiful. So it's an abstract um, Baroque pearl hug necklace, I guess I would call it. It's 20 inches, and we can do $20 on that. All right, then we got a Kendra Scott. Surprise, surprise, we always get Kendra Scott. Um, I like this with the Druzies on the end. It is silver tone. It is pliable. Now, this is pretty small. I would say this is their small medium. 
so it fit best from a five and a half until about a seven it just depends how open you want it but it is pliable it is marked Kendra Scott right there and this is the Edie E D I E and it's rhodium plated front open cup and we can do 20 for that all right we got some Kate Spade get a lot of those too this one is called a shining light I don't know if you can see it they're really pretty aqua with an off-white and this sits on the mandrel at an, at an eight and it's a little bit over two and a half inches across and it's in pretty good condition so all I did was give it a little wipe down you know on the center and uh, yeah a couple minor scratches but otherwise a beautiful Kate Spade a shining light bangle and we can do 18 but then wait there's more we got another Kendra or excuse me Kate Spade this one is a penny for your thoughts it still has some scratches in there but you see it's an off-white and gold tone there is your Kate Spade New York it's the same measurement so it sits on it on the bracelet mandrel as an eight it's two and a half inches across and we can do a uh, penny for your thoughts for $18 isn't that sweet all right then we got an adjustable rose gold rhinestone bracelet this is really pretty this is really well done um, they're rectangular no maker's mark on it I checked here so what you can do is you can always check here for any markings and on the slide but there are no markings besides always looking on the back um, but yeah it's super pretty it's adjustable which makes it good for everybody um, we can do this for let's do that for 12 okay so that's it for bracelets we get into the earrings so these are a blue acrylic oh there if I hold them that way you can really see the color there's no makers mark on these they are uh, really cute we can go ahead and do these for let's do those for three all right next pair of earrings we've got is where'd they go here they are they rolled under my uh, ring sizer here <laughs> all right so these at first when I thought I saw these I thought maybe these were made well but they're not marked anywhere really pretty um, cascade waterfall earrings with a larger faux pearl down here and now these do glow like regular um, but I'm gonna call them faux because I just don't think they're real but they are lovely earrings and they measure two and a half inches they are unmarked but we can do those for six they're really pretty a nice length for everybody all right more earrings next we got Kendra Scott and I love these now I get hers that are normally plain on the outside these have rhinestones can you see all those pave stones and I had a hard time finding the name for this one it's not Danielle um, I'm not positive on it but these are beautiful now when you test these they, sh they should be pink quartz but it is going all the way up towards topaz but I believe they're pink quartz so I, I did check my gem tester again um, and I did test it but um, we're gonna call these pink quartz because that's what she uses and uh, for these we'll do let's do 25 on those next pair of earrings we got our Swarovski okay let me get them in my hand here really pretty you see that center large stone centered with pave the marking is really tiny so we have the little swan right down there and luckily I had my magnifying glass otherwise I may have missed it but these are just beautiful the shine are these are phenomenal these are Swarovski crystal and we can do those let's do those for 20 all right look at these look at that berry color with red on the inside these are brand new Kate Spade these ones are called in full bloom and they're called berry multi they were originally $58 are they not precious oh, I love these and these are a good color uh, especially for the fall um, we can do these for let's do these for 30 Okay, the next pair of earrings are not for sale right now but they are lovely um, I broke the piece on my tester um, 
it did look like it was testing as diamond, but um, the the head of the thing did break, so I do need to replace that. So I'm waiting on that part. But these do test as sterling silver and uh, diamond, but I'm going to do a little more research, wait till that part comes in to uh, test it. Otherwise, they are marked, and they say um, 925, and there's either an NR or an MR on the back. It's really difficult to make out. Let me go ahead and bring this up here. It is also on the earring backing, so it's right there, and it's attached. So it's like an M, cursive M with a cursive R, or a cursive N with a cursive R. So I'm doing a little more research, plus I want to test to make sure that these are, in fact, diamond. So for these, I'm not selling right now. More to be determined. I'll let you guys know in a future sale. Okay, let's start with the last two pieces. This is a fun ring. It is small. Um, it measures in at a six. It's Kendra Scott. You guessed it. And this is the Platinum Druzy, and it's a two-finger. My fingers are so big, I can't, like, get them on there. That's as much as it can go on me. So they're a size six, uh, you know, they're supposed to go down here, but I thought, what a fun ring. So that is Kendra Scott, and it's the two finger in platinum uh, druzy with gold color. And like I said, it's there on the mandrel. Let me show you. On the mandrel, it's about a six, and it's kind of hard to uh, get it. I mean, you could open it up a little bit more, but I would say a six or under is best. And this one also is about a six and a quarter. So it just determines how much you want to open it up or not. So it is a smaller size. So good for a five or a uh, below. And this ring we can do for 40. All right. I saved the best for last, you guys. <sighs> Look at that. Is that not phenomenal? So this is Honora or Honora. It is a pearl, we have sterling silver, we have gold, and then we have citrine. Is that not beautiful? And I knew the H as soon as I saw it. You know, anytime I see a pearl, I think Honora first. But um, I know the, the marking, and it's an H. And it says inside 925 and 14K. Um, and it's marked here. And it's also marked there, 925, 14K. So it is absolutely lovely. Here on the mandrel, it's sitting in an eight. I'm not gonna push it all the way down, I could, but then I would be wearing it all night and I have a place to go that I would not wanna wear it. <laughs> but it is beautiful. It is uh, 14 karat gold, sterling silver, pearl and citrine. It's a size eight and we can do that for 75. So what do you guys think? Wow, wow, wow. Now this box came to us May 8th, or I ordered it May 18th of 2023. <laughs> Let me tell you, um, since May, the boxes have not been this great, but um, my older boxes, and I have a stash of them um, that I'm going through, have been phenomenal. So, um, yeah, let me know. What's your favorite piece? I love this, but you, I think my favorite piece, you know, we all love the gold and the sterling, but I think this is just a precious piece. So if you guys are interested in any of these items, email me at timelessjewelbydeborah at email or gmail.com and give me a timestamp. I did put before this a green uh, little slide that shows how to order. Email me, let me know, and I do keep a sold list. It will be down here in the description. And uh, check that before you email. And if it's overnight, go ahead and email, um, you know, because I'll check it in the morning. So I just wanted to say thanks again for hanging out with me. Let me know in comments, guys. Oh, what is your favorite piece? Um, the, the hug is great. This is phenomenal. But look at these Kate Spades. So, all right. I will see you guys on the next one. And as always, please be well. Take care of each other. Bye, you guys.